Here's the canal. Can you guess what we'll see? Let's have a look. Boats! Look! They're all long and narrow, just like the canal. And if you look closely, you can see that they are decorated with brightly coloured patterns. Oh look, there's Parsnip. He's on a boat already. Hello Parsnip! Hello Peggy! He's wearing his life jacket and he will take great care not to fall into the canal. Parsnip doesn't like water. He doesn't like getting his fur wet at all. Come on, let's go and explore. Hello. We've come to the canal today and there's so much going on. Do you know what a canal is? Any ideas? Well, it's a bit like a river, only it's much straighter. And that's because it was built by a team of men. They dug a channel out and then filled it with water to make a waterway for the boats. And just look at all the boats. They're moored up at the side of the canal. They're mostly very long and narrow and quite flat. And they've got lots of nice decorations painted on their sides. Can you see them? And they've even got their names painted on the side. Look. This one's called the Lupin. And on the other side of the canal, you can see the Prince Regent. And talking of names, where's Peggy? Have you seen her? Should we go and find her? I wonder if she's left us one of her picture messages. Let's go and have a look. Come on. Can't see anything along here. There's nothing in the grass. I'm feeling it might be near this boat, though. There it is. Look. It's a red ladybird and a red peg. Let's see what the message is. Count the boats, one, two, three. Another picture you will see. Count the boats, one, two, three. Maybe she means those boats. Let's have a look. One, two, three narrow boats. So we must be very close now. Let's have a look. Aha, I can see it. It's a blue spider and a yellow pig. Let's see what it says. By the tree, watch out for a bee. By the tree, watch out for a bee. I suppose that means it won't be on this boat. Let's go and have a look for some trees. Well, there are plenty of trees here, but I haven't seen any pictures yet. Now, what am I looking for? A bee. And here it is. Yep, oh, bumblebee on a green peg. Let's find out what he says. Find the stable. Who lives there? A horse, of course. A horse and the stable. I know. Come on, this way. Hello. Hi, Maura. Hello. Hello, James and Garth. Hello. Hello. What have you got? There's Peggy. Hello. Hello, Peggy. I might have known you'd find something exciting for us to look at. What's happening then, Howard? Well, this is Prince. And, What's Prince's uh, job? What does, what does he do? He's going to pull a boat. Right, I see. So what goes on first? First, it's the collar. The collar. Which do you think the collar is, you two? Where do you think a collar might go? On his neck. On his neck. So what looks like it might go on the neck? Uh, this. That, do you think? Yeah. Well, that looks like a nose piece to me. Oh, Dad! That's, I think you're right. This is the collar. That's the collar. Heavy, isn't it? It is heavy. Yeah. So what do you do with it? Well, we have to get the collar over his head. So we have to turn it upside down first. <laughs> and then over it goes like that. And then we turn it round. You just turn it around and get it off. That's right. And then what happens? 
And then we have to put on the trace <coughs> bobbins, the coloured bobbins. bobbins. Oh, we see yeah, that's fine. That's it. And then where did it go? Uh, through there. Right, do you want to thread that through there? And then it goes through that one Through there. that one. There you are. Right, go. Do you want to pick up and be careful with it because it's very old, this little... Now, do you know what this is? It's very special. Is it's it like... his ear thing? It's his ear... Yes, what are they called, Maya? They're called ear caps. Ear caps. And you put them on his ears to keep the flies off his ears. Right, I've never seen anything Thank like you. these before. So you have to carefully unwrap them. Put them over his ears. Are they his ears? They're his ears. It's like a hat. And and do you know them. why they would wear those? No. Yes, you know? to keep the flies off. That's right. right. So the next thing is to attach them to the, the boat. Yes. I suppose you use ropes, do you? With a long rope. Shall we go? Yeah. Off we go then. <coughs> Come on, Prince, walk on. of rope here. Yes, a very long line. Why is it such a long piece of it's, rope? It makes it easier for the horse to pull the boat. If oh, it right. was any shorter, we just pull the boat into the side. I see. So he needs it all. Yes. So, use his tail and onto the hook. And now Man's we can ready. go and get ready for our boat journey. Shall we do that? Oh, <coughs> Prince is pulling. Look. You see the rope? Prince is walking quite quickly. And it's very quiet because there's no engine. No, but, but there is. Is the oh, look, there's a big tree coming up. Do you think it's going to. Do think we can touch it? Oh, I think it's a bit tall. Oh, my. We can put our hands up. Uh, no. no. Yes, nearly. Yes, you caught it. Just about. And there's some more boats up here. I think it's nicer with an engine, isn't it? Yeah. Because it feels like you're flying. There's a big one. Look at this blue one. It's very big. Four, five, six, seven. Do you think Peggy likes that one? Yeah. Yeah, she does. She likes that one because it's got pictures on the back, hasn't it? Yeah. And this is our stop, so it's time to get off. Right, um, you stay there for a minute, Gar. Give me Peggy. And James can get off first. You right, Nigel? Mm hmm Thank you. There we go. Now it's your turn. Peggy down there. You right, Gar? Over we go. Whee. There we are. Here we go. Whee. He'll need something to eat. And this is Prince's feet in. It has his name on it. It's his very own lunchbox then. Prince's lunch. Prince's lunch. Now. He must be very hungry. He's worked very, very hard. We're coming up to a tunnel now. That's where the canal goes underneath the countryside. You can just see the entrance to the tunnel up there. It's very dark and Prince can't go through the tunnel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unhitch him and we're gonna walk with him up this path over the top of the tunnel and down the other side. 
but how do you think we're going to get the boat through the tunnel? Remember that we're pretending it's a long time ago and there's no engines to help the boat. So watch the men, because they're going to use their legs to push the boat through the tunnel. It was called legging. Are we all ready then? Yeah. Watch the boat come out the other side of the tunnel. Come on, Prince. On. You right, Peggy? We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. It's the pride of us all, and it will never fall. Okay. Push, boys, push. The tunnel's dark and long. Push, boys, push. That's why we sing this song. Push, boys, push. It keeps our spirits high till we can see the sky. Push, boys, push. We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. It's the pride of the soul, and it will never fall. Push, boys, push. We're legging this old tunnel. Push, boys, push. We're loaded to the gunnel. Push, boys, push. Push your feet against the wall. A few more steps, that's all. Push, boys, push. We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. We're going through the tunnel. Push, boys, push. Push. It's the pride of us all, and it will never fall. Push, boys, push. Oh, wasn't that exciting? It looked so dark in that tunnel. I'm glad we walked over the top with Prince. Sarah, may we have a story now, please? Oh, I tell you what. We could go back to my secret den and have the story there. Good idea, Peggy. Are you coming past now? Oh, yes, Sarah. I love stories. Nearly as much as carrots, you know. <laughs> Come on, then. It was a damp and foggy morning. Ruby was hard at work pulling her narrow boat through the greeny-grey canal water. Ruby was a young and strong horse, and she loved to feel the heavy, flat-bottomed boat begin to glide through the water. I think this old mist is beginning to lift, Ruby, my girl, Benjamin shouted from the end of the boat. The sun will come out soon. Ruby snorted as a moorhen flapped noisily across the canal in front of her and disappeared into the mist. The mist did begin to clear a little, and soon Ruby was just able to see ahead of her the dark circle of a tunnel through which the canal boat would have to go. Whoa, my girl, called Benjamin as they approached the black opening. Ruby pulled to a standstill and Benjamin jumped onto the bank. They stood waiting together in silence as from deep inside the tunnel they heard a strange noise. Ruby felt the hairs on her mane begin to tingle as the noise grew louder. Another boat was coming through the tunnel heading towards them. At last, a narrow boat emerged from the tunnel just as the sun began to peep through the mist. Hooray! shouted Benjamin, taking off his old cap. It's the school outing! To Ruby's surprise, this narrow boat was decorated all over with flowers and ribbons and was full of the village children. They were dressed in their best clothes, singing at the tops of their voices and enjoying their day out on the canal. Oh, that must be the bus bringing Whitebird. Look, there's the bus coming over our bridge. So it is. <laughs> I must go and meet Why? I'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Hello, Peggy. Um, I'm glad to see you. Wherever is the patch stop today? Do you know, we've just come over a funny little bridge and I nearly fell off my seat. It was so up and down. And anyway... Hello, why? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are by the canal today. And we have had a ride on the canal boat too. 
But why? Hmm? I have a Peggy Patch puzzle for you. Oh, so soon, Peggy! I haven't even got off the best yet. Now, here's your puzzle, Why? We went on a boat, Peggy and Sarah afloat. But how did our boat move along? Oh, that's easy, Peggy. I suppose the captain just churned on the engine and it went boom. And off you went up the canal, splash, splash, splash. Oh, wrong, Why? You'll have to fly around and ask somebody. See you back at my den when you've found the answer. Oh. Bye. Bye. Ooh, what's that over there? <laughs> Looks like a butterfly on a bush. Mm. Well, I think I'll flap over. It lives here, so it should know. Mm. Patch a float on a boat. Oh, that wasn't very friendly, was it? <laughs> but perhaps I should have said please. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I'll try that little ladybird over there. Hello, little ladybird. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, but have you seen Peggy Patch afloat on a boat, please? Oh, it's gone. Oh, well, these creatures are not being at all helpful, are they? Now, who else can I find to ask? Aha. Uh -huh. Sarah, Sarah, there you are. Hello, Hello. why? Hello. Now, listen. Do you think you could tell me about your trip on the canal today? Oh, yes, it was wonderful. wonderful. We were on this huge canal boat mm. and it was being towed down the canal by a horse called Prince. It was just like the olden times. A horse, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, thank you, Sarah. I've got the answer to Peggy's puzzle now. Come on, let's go find Peggy now. Oh, all right. It sounds like a horse. It must be Prince pulling the boat along the canal. That's right. Do you remember the ear caps that Prince wore to stop the flies from buzzing round his head? Well, I'm going to put this ear cap into one of Peggy's patch pockets. It will remind her of Prince and the boat journey today. I think it will fit into the big patch pocket. Like that. Oh, there's the bus bell. I wonder where Peggy is. Peggy, the bus is here. All right, Sarah, I'm just saying goodbye and thank you to Prince for such a lovely day. Peggy will be back in another patch next time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's been fun in the sun, fun with the horse, fun on the boat, with Prince, of course. Goodbye.
I'm Peggy Patch and I'm on my way to find a patch to stop and play. I'll look around and meet some friends. Guess where the bus has stopped today? Oh look, there's Parsnip. Hello Parsnip. Where are you going? Hello Peggy. I know. We are by the canal and I'm off to do some painting. I'm learning to be an artist today. See you later. Well, fancy that. I'm sure he will show us his masterpiece before the day is out. I wonder if it will be a picture of the canal. More likely something to eat, knowing parsnip. Everybody seems to be painting today. Look! The boats look so bright, don't they? ride on the bus and here we are at the canal. Now we've got to look for Peggy. She might have left us some of her picture clues. So let's have a look around and see what we can see. Let's have a look over here by these roses. Can you see any of Peggy's pictures here? No. What about, oh, have a look by that gate, Liam. No. What's that? A bee. It's a bumblebee. Are you going to get it off for me? Thank you very much. Let's see what the bumblebee says. Look around. It's on the ground. So we've got to look on the ground. It does, doesn't it? Let's have a look down here by the dandelions. Any clues? No. Watch out for your head on the rose bushes. What about the other side? There's nothing over here. What about... What's that? It's a ladybird. Let's have a look and see what the ladybird says. Look for a rose where a spider goes. Maybe we've got to find a spider next. We'll put the ladybird with the bee. I like ladybirds. Yeah, I like that them one, too. One, two, three, four, five, That's six. Really six, six that one. Right, let's look for a spider then. Where do you think a spider mm. might be? In a web. In a web? Let's have a look up here, because there's a bit there's a bit of fence that there might be a spider resting in. Mm. Where are some roses? Up there. Up there. Well, there's some here, but there aren't any spiders there. Oh, hang on a minute, Shona. There might be something here. Can you see on anything on this rose? Yes! yes. Oh, look! Spider! Spider, big blue spider on a green peg. And this spider says, past the museum, here's the shop. Take five steps and then a hop. Where's the museum? Yeah. That's the museum. There's the museum. And where's the, like shop? the shop? So we're by the museum and the shop. Take five steps and then a hop. Do you think we should do that? Yeah. yeah. Because we might find Peggy if we do that. And the spider can hop as well. Oh, I guess the spider can hop with us. All right, then are you ready? Go. Set, one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. One more. Four, five. And the hop. And another hop. What can you see? There she is. Hello, Peggy. Hello. What Hello, are you doing here? Well, I'm just having a peep around. This is Mike. It's his narrowboat and he says we can look inside as well. The inside is called the cabin and it's really tiny. And do you know that whole families used to live on these boats? Come and have a look inside. They must have all lived squashed in together. We're ready with our life jackets on now, just in case. And we're going to board the boat in a minute, but first of all, we're going to have a look at it. It's a nice old boat, this, isn't it? And it's called the Lupin. What, what else can you see on the top over here? Um, some water bottles. Oh, yes, there's big water cans chimney. and a big black chimney. It's what have the water cans got on them? Roses. More roses. And what about round here? Hi, Mike. Hi. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's some pictures on the door. What can you see on the paintings? There's some yachts. Some yachts. Some and what's the big building there? 
castle. A castle, yes. And what about down the bottom? There's some roses. Some roses. I like the roses. Can we come on board? Yes, of course. All right then. Liam first. And then show it off. Let's have a look inside. Now we're inside the cavern. It's very pretty and old-fashioned in here, isn't it? Yes. yes. What old-fashioned sorts of things can you see? I can see the chimney and it goes right up there. That's what we saw on the outside, isn't it? Yes. And it goes it's attached to that. And what, what about those plates? They're very pretty. They are pretty, aren't they? What sort of pictures have they got in them? They've got strawberries, houses. And can you see any lace? There's lots yes. of lace. Just there. Yeah. Window. And there's the name of the lupin up in the corner there. And on the cupboards there are lots of pictures, aren't there? Yeah. What can you see? There's a castle. Castle. Boats, and flowers and a flower. It's the same as the outside, isn't it? My favourite thing is the stove, because it's very old. And it's very hot, isn't it? Make you yeah. nice and warm in winter. And in a minute, Mike's going to, as a special treat, cook us something on the stove. That'd be good. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan. Fry a pancake, toss a pancake, catch it if you can. Oh, yummy. But now we'll have to wait for the others to come back before we can eat them. I'm getting a bit bored with sitting here. Where is everybody? Mm, something smells good over there. Mmm. I shall have to explore. Oh, so it's a castle. It's a castle. It's a castle. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. started there with big blobs of white. Mm -hmm. You couldn't really tell what they were going to be. No, nope, it's all a surprise. And then you're outlining bits of those around the edges of the blobs to make them turn into shapes. Yep. And we're going to do a little bit more of that as well. So what's the tall bit up there, the top? Is that a, some sort of tower? Is that going to be a tower? That's going finish? to be a tower. It's been very difficult to be able to get straight lines with a very fine brush like that. Ah, it's a very special brush for doing long, thin lines. Now, there's our door. Oh, that's really lovely. Oh, we haven't got any windows on that building there. Look out. So, three little windows up there. Oh, I like that. And then next, I suppose you have to let it dry. Yep. And when it's all finished, we shall have it looking something like those up there. It's lovely. What else do you paint, Brian? Sometimes we put the names of boats on the bottom of these. And sometimes we put the names of people. Ooh. That looks like that's a puh, isn't it? That's right, it's a big puh. And there it is. He's painted your name on it, Peggy. Oh! Here we are. Here it comes. Oh, thank you very, very much, Brian. That's lovely. What sort of pot is that, Brian? It's a handbowl. Handbowl? Yep. What do you use that for on a boat? Oh, washing and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And Should that one's own. Peggy's own, yep. Oh, it's just my very size. special one. <laughs> when you live on a narrow boat, look what you find. Outside the cabin, inside the galley. To brighten all water can Patterns on cupboard and door And look at the roses The prettiest roses There's red, white and so many more What beautiful colours The blue and the green The loveliest patterns You'll ever have seen The yellow, the red The black and the white Bright coloured pictures Of beautiful when you live on a narrow boat, that's what you find Outside the cabin, inside the galley Bright painted pictures to make decorations
ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Sarah? Yes? I've got an idea. What's that? I'm going to make my secret den like the old cabin on the boat. We can stick all our rose patterns on the walls. Oh, how exciting. And then we can have a canal boat tea party too. Oh, well, that's a good idea, Peggy. Well, I'm going to finish my castle picture and you can have that too. Great. Well, and here comes Parsnip. He can help. Parsnip, have you finished your painting yet? Um, no, not really. But I'll help you. I found it very lonely painting by myself. Flap, 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 flap. Ah, there we are. Oh, goodness, why? You gave me quite a fright shouting from the sky. <laughs> well, I knew you were here, Peggy. So I thought I'd bring you some hat. You know, you left it on the bus, and at the lost property office, I couldn't decide whether to put it under Puff for Peggy, Suff for Sun, or Huff for Hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Why? I can wear it later, for our canal tea party. What are you doing, Peggy? There's roses, roses, roses everywhere. I suppose you'll be painting them on your sun hat next. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to decorate my secret den and make it look like a canal boat cabin. Don't you think it's a good idea, Why? Oh, I think it's a splendid idea, Peggy. I tell you what, I'll come back later to inspect your secret den. I mean, secret cabin or canal boat or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Bye, see you later. Bye, Bye. Why? Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket. looking rather good and it'll surprise Peggy <laughs> she thinks I'm no good at art but mark my word just look at this roses red roses yellow roses pink roses roses everywhere I've even surprised myself mm. let's peep inside Peggy's secret den and see if she's finished decorating it yet I don't think she'll mind because she's been very busy making it look like the inside of a canal boat. Have a look. It's full of roses and castles. And I think she might be about to make us tea on her special canal boat stove. I think it's all finished, Sarah. Do you like it? I think it's wonderful, Peggy. And you've even got tea ready for us. Mm. Tea time, then. Down by the canal where the narrow boat goes, there sits Peggy painting a rose. She sings, she sings, she sings all day and calls to her playmate across the way. Sarah, Sarah, won't you come to tea? Come this afternoon at half past three. Flapjacks, cherry buns, anything you please. Won't we have a lovely time at half past three? <laughs> I'd love to come for tea, thank you, Peggy. <laughs> Who else should we invite? Well, Wybird, of course. Right. She's here and she's come all this way to bring my sun hat. All right, let's sing to her mm. then. Down by the canal where the narrow boat goes, there sits Peggy painting a rose. She sings, she sings, she sings all day and calls to her playmate across the way. Why bird, why bird, won't you come to tea? Come this afternoon at half past three. Popcorn, cream cakes, anything you please. Won't we have a lovely time at half past three? <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. I would love to come for tea. I think I'd better watch out, though. Someone might even paint roses on my green feathers. <laughs> so that's you mm -hmm. and me and why. That makes three altogether. Yes. And we mustn't forget Parsnip. Oh, one more will make four. Just the right amount. Shall we sing to Parsnip now? Let's go on, let's. Mm. Down by the canal where the narrow boat goes. There sits Peggy painting a rose. She sings, she sings, she sings all day and calls to her playmate across the way. Your turn, Peggy. Mm -hmm. Parsnip, parsnip, won't you come to tea? Come this afternoon at half past three. Carrot cake, ice cream, anything you please. 
Well, we have a lovely time at half past three. Yes, please, Peggy. Tea parties are my favourite. Much better than painting. I think a tea party's a really good idea, isn't it? Peggy's just getting things ready. Peggy put the kettle on, Peggy put the kettle on, Peggy put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Are you nearly ready then, Peggy? Mm. Good. Oh, there's the bus bell. The bus is here already, we'll have to be quick. Oh, Peggy, take it off again, Peggy, take it off again, Peggy, take it off again, we're going back on the bus. <laughs> but we can still have something to eat on the bus. Before Peggy goes, Let's put this little canal water can into one of her patch pockets. Look, it's got Peggy painted on it. And it will remind her of the canal boat today. I think it'll fit into the pink patch pocket, like that. Peggy will be back in another patch next week. Bye. Look, Peggy, I did finish my painting after all. It's a sort of castle. Do you like it? It's for your den. Goodbye. Thank you, Parsnip. It's lovely. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. We painted castles brown. We painted roses red. Sometimes we used yellow or blue or white instead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>